I'm going to admit right off the bat that being a boy mom with three very active, adventurous, and creative sons has been the source of many interesting and funny stories over the years. Oftentimes, my friends say things to me like, now I've heard it all, after I relay something that happened in my normal daily life. Especially when the boys were younger, I had many stories that people appreciated if I retold them on Facebook. Uh, Many people thanked me for the laugh of the day, even if I wasn't trying for the laugh of the day. (laughs) One time, I remember... It was spirit week at school. Now, I don't know what this has to do with spirit, but it was fake an injury day. Yes, you heard that right. You are to come to school looking like you're injured. People had their arms in slings, walking on crutches, wounded bandages all around them, even put some ketchup on them. And they got very creative with looking injured. So I guess that was very exciting, especially for the boys, probably. Well, my super creative son went a step further, and he had taken a, an arrow, a play arrow, plastic-tipped arrow, broken it in half, and wound a metal hanger, uh, straightened it, and put it over his shoulders. So half of the arrow stuck out through a shirt in the front and the other half of the arrow stuck out through the shirt in the back. So he was definitely injured with an arrow straight through his middle. (laughs) Okay. So that's his outfit. And the other son had uh, his head bandaged with some uh, ketchup blood on the bandaged head. So, of course, we're always running late in the morning, get out to the car, you know, this kind of thing. So everyone was going to the car. I was finishing getting my coffee in the mug, and I was going to be out to the car to take them to school. As I walked out to the driveway, there were no children in the car. Their book bags were on the sidewalk, and they were nowhere to be seen. We live surrounded by trees on three acres, so I walked to the end of my short driveway and looked up and down the street to see if I could see my kids anywhere. Just about this time, a police car is pulling into my driveway. My eyes are about as round as saucers, wondering why is there a police car pulling into the driveway. And there are my children in the back seat. So come to find out I guess our dog had gotten out of the fence and the boys noticed it and were chasing the dog down the street when the police officer saw what was happening went to help them got the dog (laughs) and drove them all home (laughs) yes I am standing there as my son gets out of the car head bandaged with blood ketchup on the bandage And my other son gets out of the car, yes, with an arrow through his middle. Happy as a lark, they just got to ride in the police car. And I thought to myself, what in the world am I supposed to tell this man? (laughs) Thankfully, he was very kind, very nice. If he thought I was the oddest parent in the world, he did not let me know. But it's made for a lot of laughs since that time. That day was not how I expected it to go. Everything seemed to be going well in my unusual life until I walked out and did not see my kids. Imagine seeing a policeman bringing your children back uh, in a police car. So that was definitely a plan B right from the beginning. And you know that is how all of life is. Now, some days aren't funny. Some days are just sad, horrible, <laughs> Uh Some days are angry. Some things happen in life and it's not just a day. And your life takes a complete turn to something you never dreamed would happen. And if we think about it, there isn't any single one of us that's living out the plan that we had for our life when we were young. 
We had lots of plans and dreams. And I am sure every single one of us can testify that we are not living out the life that we had planned. Things have happened. Trials have come. God's been good through it all. But may I just leave us with this thought? We shouldn't expect to be living out the life that we created for ourselves. God has something more for us. And every single thing he puts into our life, even if it is, it, it, it's huge and hard to bear, all of those things are for our good and for the good of others. So ladies, today as you're living out your plan B life, whether it's a flat tire or even, you know, you've got a stain on your shirt right before an important event or something like that, all the way to an unexpected death, uh, an illness, a stray child, something like this, huge burdens. Know that God knows where you are. He's allowed it and he plans this for your good and for the good of others. I'm praying for you today, friends. Let's walk in love this week, loving God through loving others.